Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we're going to take our first look at Maze Plus for Farm Sim 22 on PC. There's also two extensions, the Animal Food Editions and Animal Grazing Realism add-on. These are mods that we will take a look at in separate videos, so check the first pinned comment for those once they're released and get subscribed that way you don't miss them. So what exactly is Maze Plus and who is it for? Maze Plus is a global mod with various changes and additions for PC players. The main focus is on the making of silage and feeding. This mod adds the difference between grass silage and maize silage. They're now two different things and used separately, but we've also got other things. So grass silage, maize silage, CCM and CCM silage, brewer's grain and brewer's grain silage, beet cut and beet cut silage, and whole crop silage. Bunker silos have also been extended with a little feature. You can store and cover potatoes and sugar beets in them if you want to. You will, or it does say without the need for compaction or fermenting, they don't need to ferment, but you do need to maybe just run over them one time and they'll work just fine. Sugar beets, potatoes, done. Another new addition coming with Maze Plus is the drying steps and stages for grass. There's now four different stages of grass. So you've got regular mowed grass. So this is just done without a conditioner and it's uh, very obvious what it is because it is bright green. Then you could turn on the conditioner and uh, go through, or you can just ted this one time. All mowers and all tedders will have the ability to turn this feature on and off. It's not a special thing or anything. It's just maze plus. Now is when the tedder comes into play because if we did not condition this grass, so you can see we've got this area right here where we've got conditioned. So there are different stages on the tedder itself. So we've got base game, conditioned, semi-dry, and hay. Now base game pretty much will just turn it into hay immediately. So if you'd like to go with base game and just only run once, you could do that. Or you can run in condition. So we could take the grass that wasn't conditioned before and now we are conditioning it and it matches all of the grass around it. Once we've done that, then our next step is semi-dry. So we'll go ahead and turn on this and we'll hit semi-dry and you can see it's changing a little bit lighter now but it's still not that bright color of hay that we would expect and this is another thing as well as you can see i'm going back over what we've already done however it's not changing the reason it's not changing is because we've got it set to uh go to the thing it doesn't just know what it's tedding i guess this makes it easy so that you could play about how you want to it doesn't force you to do four tedding stages. You can just do one if you want. So now that we have gone through semi dry, our next step is hay. And we can turn this on and it gives us that beautiful color that we would expect. Now, there's a couple little spots up here that I missed earlier. What's gonna happen with those? Well, they just turn into hay because no matter what goes in one side of this, the other side will pop out hay. Another cool thing is if I pop this over to base game as well, and we keep going, nothing happens. Because the grass state that we're trying to do right now isn't actually like picked up. It doesn't know exactly what to do with it because it doesn't exist in the base game. This is a brand new thing for Maze Plus. So if you're gonna go with base game, start from the very beginning. If you go from there, well, you can just select hay and you're good. It's actually really easy. Another really cool part of Maze Plus is the extension and adjustment to the feeding system and the freedom that it gives you to basically do whatever you want. If you want to feed them, uh, I don't know, straw, you could probably figure out how to do that. Nonetheless, uh, this not only adds the new silage types and related belt types uh, that are added to the feeding system itself, but there are also a bunch of new, brand new stuff it feeds in the store to give them. And if we go into mods and DLCs, it goes to Maze Plus, well, we can find those. If we go through, you can see all of the extra areas through here. So. Uh, just kind of scrolling through, we've got roughage, power food, mineral feed, and feeding supplements from Duca. We also have molasses and IBC containers, CCM silage and bales, which was way, way back over here somewhere, filtered water and IBC containers, regular water and IBC containers, clover hay and clover silage and bales, and alfalfa hay and alfalfa silage and bales, carrots and pallet boxes, potatoes and pallet boxes, beet cut and potato cut in the placeable buying station. So you've got pretty much everything that you could possibly need that's there already that you don't have to make and you don't have to do anything with, but you, know, you can if you want to. You can also switch between multiple different recipes in your mixing rations and mixing 
wagons. Of course, this works with key bindings and is global, so it works on everything. Here, I've just got the basic lineup set up. So uh, as you can see there at the top left, it gives me my mixing ratio when I get close. And at the bottom of the screen, it tells you, hey, here's what you've got and here's what it could have. What's in there currently? What's the minimum that you need? What's the maximum that you need? And what's the recipe standard at the very bottom? Of course, I've got nothing in there right now. If we hop in, I can change this to realistic mixture. And you can see on the left, uh, well, that changed a lot. There's a lot of stuff. And if we jump out, we can see exactly what we need. Sugar beet cut or potato cut, beet pellets, CCM, straw, alfalfa hay, or regular hay, filtered water or regular water, molasses, grain grist, which is really easy to make, mineral feed or mineral feed, brewer's grain or BG silage. You've also got BP silage, beet pulp, whole crop silage, clover silage, or alfalfa silage, grass silage, and corn maize silage, all in the different setups through here. So it gives you exactly what you need. All you gotta do is fill it up. But if you think that's a little bit too much, we can change it up. There's also a pre-done mixture for beef cattle. So previous one was for um, uh, normal cattle, I would guess. This one, beef cattle. So you have your mineral feed, filtered water, regular water, molasses, potato cut, bee pulp, alfalfa hay, and maize silage. So you can play a little bit more realistically, and it gives you more to do. I mean, that's kind of what we want at FarmSim. We want more to do. And just sometimes doing the same thing over and over again stinks. We've also got young stock as well. So if you have young um, cattle, maybe this is the one you want to go with. Molasses, water, mineral feed, straw, silage, hay. These are not what they require. The, don't don't get me uh, don't get me wrong there. These are just things where you can fill in here, and then these bits right here fill up. Base food, roughage, moisture food, and power food, and all of these different mixtures give you that. One other thing um, that has changed here is you can see 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%. Of course, all that adds up to 100%. They don't just eat whatever's best for them. In the base game, they use TMR, right? And then you've got hay and silage below that and grass below that. And they'll just eat from the top to the bottom, one after the other, completely emptying whatever's on the top first. Here, this is different. This tells you everything that they need at once. In Farming Simulator 19, I made my own custom base food kind of, or not base food, but my own total capacity ration. And I loved it. It made it so easy. I knew exactly what to feed my cattle. Here, this allows you to do the same thing as well. There's actually, as I mentioned, another mod that is releasing alongside with this, the Animal Food Editions. We'll talk about that in a separate video, but... I mean, how cool is this? And then we have a dairy cattle number two. So these are just pre-done ones. You can add your own in the uh, the mod. And then we have a pig food one here as well. So sugar beet cut, potato cut, or molasses, mineral feed, or mineral feed, <laughs> and then canola, or CCM, or soybeans, or grain grist. And that'll give you your total amount there. 47, 47, and 30%. Ba-boom, baby, yaro. Another really cool thing that comes with Maze Plus is the ability for straw blowers to not only dissolve regular straw bales, but also hay, silage, and other kinds of bales. So let's just uh, grab one right here. This is corn silage. Hang on, I'm gonna, gotta be Superman for a minute. So you can see down there at the very bottom, it recognizes that this is corn silage. And look at there. It is chopping it up. So when we've pulled in here, you can feed them, well, whatever's in your blower. As long as it's food or if it's something that they can take, you're good. And you can see right here, base food, because this falls under the category of base food. <laughs> there you go. Give them, give them food and they're happy to eat. You can use your straw blowers now as ways to feed your cattle, not just in like a eh way. Kind of nice. Something else nice is the addition of some new vehicles. So we have got the Duca TGS 18500 4x4. Of course, this is your MAN truck. We've also got the same truck, but in the Stada. This is the TGS 18500. Works just like the normal truck base game, except it is now branded, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to really, really go for it, we've got a Duca trailer as well. This holds, uh, well, either 30, 40, or 50,000 liters. And those are going to be pretty much all your base standard crops. This is like a grain tank 
Plus, it'll hold all of the extra stuff that's in the placeables, which is super cool. Speaking of Strata, we also have their ZW or ZW4010. This will take grains and turn it into grain grist, or it will take corn and chop that into CZM. You do have a couple of different wheel options there, which is nice. Holds 15,000 liters. We have the grassland subsoiler. This is kind of neat. So this could be used as a subsoiler on grassland. It removes the need to plow and adds a fertilizer state and it doesn't rip up the ground. How does it do it? I don't know, but it's magic. Of course, there's also the cutter roller as well. Uh, this functions the same way the base game rollers do. Sorry, mulcher says roller. It's a mulcher, got confused. We've also got the Arcusen Multipack D14, which comes in here that, well, just works with the new bell types. Same thing as the K-Brand SW4014 here. Uh, this will do the exact same thing. We've got a bunch of foil colors, a brand of foil color, but uh, those are all a separate mod, but you can download on Mod Hubs for all platforms, which is nice. Of course, you've seen everything in here quite a few times. We have round bell silage, or grass silage, round bell maize silage, round bell alfalfa hay, round bell alfalfa silage, clover hay, clover silage, horse hay, horse silage, round bell CCM, which is actually really teeny tiny. It doesn't look like it, but this skinny little things. You've also got a lot of stuff from Duca. So we have their chicken food uh, in a 35 liter bag or 1050 liter pallets. We also have it in a big bag form as well. Then we have their beet pallets. We've got grain grist if you don't want to make it. Horse food. So boom, it's just horse food. Uh, you've also got mineral feed, pig food, concentrate feed. You've got sheep feed, hay pellets, seeds, and you, well, those are from DSV. You've got the Maze Plus fillable pallet, which will fill up a thousand liters of literally anything in the game, a carrot pallet and a potato pallet. Of course, we showed you the two trucks and the Duca trailer. You've also got your molasses, water, filtered water, Luprasil, which you're gonna need that if you're gonna be working on, um, oh goodness, <laughs> what was the CCM? And then we've got some baby bells as well. So horse hay, compact grass, compact alfalfa, haylage, and Haylage and Haylage. But that's not all because we also have some custom silos for Maze Plus. So we have this one, the small bunker silo, the medium bunker silo, and then you've got a manure heap, which is pretty cool. Then we've got the Duca Maze Plus uh, farm silo, which holds 10,000 liters. You got another one that holds 20,000 liters. It's silo extension, similar thing here. We've got a manure heap extension. We've got a silo extension for 10,000 and 20,000. And lastly in here, we have a 10,000 liter buying station or 20,000 liter buying station. Then we have the Maze Plus station. So this is a loading station for beet pulp, brewer's grain, or Duca. So you get all of the stuff that Duca has in the game. You can get it right here, just like this. Now. That is probably the most overly simplified that I can make Maze Plus, but there's a lot more to it. It's just how you incorporate all of the things that I showed you today, all the rules and the boundaries of Maze Plus to do different things and experience the game in different ways for yourself within those confines. Again, we've got two other mods to show off. I'm going to link those in the first pinned comment as soon as I finish them up. So check that, if they're not there, check back in a day or two probably be there but get subscribed that way you don't miss it otherwise hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions drop them down below again this is pc and mac only this is not coming to console at least in farming simulator 22 in the near future um and i wouldn't even think about it so nonetheless hope you have a great day <laughs> we'll see you guys later peace